when I became mayor, uh, we, we as the council put together a 10-point plan. That 10-point plan identified what the key priorities for this community are for its citizens to generate new revenue and to expand our city. So as the mayor, my job is to keep the city staff as well as our council focused on those 10 priorities. This was priority number two, was the expansion of the south side of the city of Kennewick. Well, this is our South Ridge Revitalization Project, and it started in about 2008 when the public hospital, TRIOS, the public hospital, came forward and wanted to build a hospital out in the South Ridge area. And at that point, in 2008, what you see behind me right now is essentially there was nothing there. And so it was essentially just land, undeveloped land. And so they wanted to know how we could help them put infrastructure in. We worked with a lot of other local governments, uh, developers, um, other community stakeholders to make sure this was feasible. Um, along with that, a lot of our local government partners really had to put a financial um, commitment into place for this to be feasible. And that, uh, that's a little different than just talking about a partnership. They actually put their money where their mouth was. Um, and so to see that was great. I think that also fostered more um, of a commitment from all the parties involved. The South Ridge Revitalization Financing Project had a significant impact on the economic downturn and the recovery of that economic downturn. And it's not just here in the city of Kennewick, but it's on a regional basis. Um, we work with our other jurisdictions, our other cities. So the city of Pasco, the city of Richland, the city of West Richland, and the city of Kennewick all partner together quite a bit on economic development efforts. And we've really seen an interest from outside our community, outside the state of Washington, in wanting to do business here. And a lot of that has to do with projects like this, where they can see that even in a downturn, we, we were able to make a big difference within the community. Well, there's always, always some unexpected challenges that arise when you're doing a project of this scope and magnitude. Um, working again with our partners, and getting buy-in up front from all the agencies and partners involved I think was critical. As we ran into those obstacles or those road bumps, we all had a clear idea of where we wanted to go, where we were headed, and I think that went a long way towards resolving some of those issues um, and not allowing those to be a, a deterrent to making this a success. One of the things that came out of this when we began to realize how fast this area was going to grow once the infrastructure was put in, we then had to look at our transportation system and we found that it was necessary to put in uh, a loop around the city in order to maintain the new traffic flows. This has become an extremely dynamic area part of the uh, dynamic area within the community. Because of that, it was necessary to expand our transportation capabilities. Furthermore now, we have another area inside the city of Kennewick that we want to see as dynamic as this one as we continue to grow.